Hey everyone and welcome back to Norris Cove. I'm Yoshida and today we will be planning um, our budget for the week of June 7th through the 13th. I'm going to double check. So we're planning for the week of June 7th through the 13th. I'm going to use my um, deli pen i just love this pen as you can see i've made a note of some afterpays i noticed i wasn't including them in my budget and then i'd have to come back and add um so i did a couple here or did i no i didn't have any afterpays this week i don't recall but i just noticed i was forgetting them so as you can see everything got paid from the 31st to the 6th um some things got moved over because of just income circumstances so this is my little note i'm going to remove that put it over here on my planner and let's get right to it so the first thing i like to do is to just do a quick highlight this is what i've been doing and it is june 7 through 13. okay i'm gonna do the after pays and you know what i just noticed <laughs> I didn't put the dates down. I think those are the 11th. I do know that. So 11th. Um, after pay. I think one is only like the 15th. And but I'll just put them all on the 11th. And it's $86.18. And I'll probably pay those on Tuesday. So now I can move that over here to the side also on the 11th i have my car note number one and that is 181.60 okay also on the 11th we have canva the 11th is friday and that's pretty much all that i have this week um so we have 86 dollars for after pay we have $181.60 to my car note. And then we have Canva, which I believe is $12.99. Okay. And then uh, my booth rent, that is due on the 12th, which is Saturday. And that is $200. Okay, so let's go ahead and add up the total here. We have 86, 18. 20. So, so far we have $480.77. Um, to my knowledge, there is nothing else. Oh, you know what? I did want to, um, I'm going to put that in my goals and notes is that I want to give T-Mobile some more money before the final bill. I want to give them like a hundred dollars. Okay. Um, I want to throw something extra at some credit cards. Um, put that here. And again, that so far, this is pretty much it. It aligns at the moment with my uh, income. So I'm digging that. Um, I'm trying to figure out, like, I think this is the week where it's like, this is pretty much it. Um, normally there wouldn't be the afterpays, but I went a little crazy and I had intended to pay off the smaller afterpays after I did them, but um, time got the moving and that just didn't happen. So I'm going to flip to my finance section and just staple this back in. This was so quick. I feel like, um, you see I have after pays highlighted for next week and I'm going to still stick my little after pay, um, sticky note here. And then what I'll probably do is go in and add dates later. So now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm gonna update my um, monthly calendar um, to see if everything's you know 
how we're doing, what was paid, all that was paid. And I do have some new paid stickers. Okay, so what I've done is I've whipped out my budget planner. I'm just going to do like a overview for the week of last week to see what was paid and kind of highlight it. Apple, we paid that. All of this was paid and I have some new paid stickers. So I'm going to add a paid sticker to Apple Pay. And then here I have a note of that my after pays are due of 169. I think this is just the month. So I'm gonna slide that over here. Um, now see, I didn't include this in the, I'm um, see, I'm glad I looked over here because we have Shopify due. So let me flip back and make sure I put Shopify on here and I'll just highlight the date. I'll move the date. Shopify is due on the 8th. The only thing with Shopify is I never know the amount. Um, I try to keep track of my, because Shopify charges me for shipping. If I use their shipping, I keep saying I'm going to go to the pirate ship, um, back to pirate ship so that way it'll just come out of my account at one time. But I try to keep track of how much shipping costs. Anytime I ship something, whatever that total is, I write it on a sticky note somewhere. Um, so it may be like in my, it is, it's here. So I have a $21.60. Uh, shipping labels and I did ship something else last week. I think they were like $12. So I'm just going to do a guesstimate real quick and I'm going to just probably round it to the highest uh, number. So let me I can always write the guesstimate in, and then, as y'all know, I use this pay section to put the correct amount in. So let's put $63.60. I'm sure it's some fees, so that's why I wanted to round it off. Okay. Okay, back to our regular planner, um, budget planner. Let's see anything else. Shopify is on auto pay. So, um, Boots around business supplies. So I need to get business supplies. I'm gonna try to get that this week since that's a slow week. I'll put that in my notes section. And I'm glad I looked over here. So let me put Shopify for the eighth. This planner. Now this is my process. <laughs> this is my process because um, I like to have it in different places. So let's put Shopify. Okay. And I don't know how much that's going to be. Okay. And auto pays. I have that locked over here. And let's see. I'm, I put down a note for no after pays this month. Let's see how that goes. But um, that's it. And then I have my days marked of getting... Uh, money from Shopify. Mm, Shopify. Shopify. <laughs> okay, so so far that's all I have this week. Um, I'm just gonna look at it again to make sure that I'm not missing anything. June seventh through the thirteenth, we got Shopify. Oh, I'm gonna put down in my notes. I need to order supplies. So I'm going to put in my notes that I need to order supplies. So that will be an extra expense. So, so far, that's it. Okay, you guys. So that is it for our budget 
for the week of June 7th through the 13th. I almost didn't film this because I was like, well, there's not a lot going on, but I just wanted to show you guys my process of how I um, look at my budget for the week. This is what I do um, typically every week as far as keeping up with my budget. Um, if you're new here, these inserts are in my shop and it should be listed below. These are the weekly check-in and what else? The do stickers and paid stickers, they're new to the shop, so you can find them there as well. Um, you can also find this deli pen in my shop as well, but for now, this is it, you guys. This is what June 7th through the 13th is looking like. Bill wise, roughly about five to six hundred dollars for the week, and maybe a little bit more because, again. I need to account for supplies. I want to give T-Mobile an extra hundred. So that's it. I'm hoping I can have these afterpays paid off. I know this is a final payment. Um, there's two more payments on these small ones and I may make a double payment. Let me write that in because I was supposed to write that in. Pay off small afterpays. Yeah, so that'll be roughly like $23, $24 to pay those two off. So I want to pay them off. But that's it for this week's um, budget with me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If today was your first time watching any of my content here on YouTube and you enjoyed today's video and you would love to see more from me, please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Also hit the notification bell so that you're notified whenever I upload content and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.